Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, thank you for allowing me to just open you know just open up things that you know it was hard to open up before or you know you're seeing things in a different way or a different perspective and you know and it's carrying towards a positive direction for you so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already Please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like the video, um, if you feel like you're comfortable enough after you watch the video, please drop me a line or two. I would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just opening up telling me about your empathic gift and how it has impacted your life towards a positive direction. If you feel like the video has gave you good vibes or just good information you feel like you want to share, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. So thank you so much for showing love and support towards the channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content in my video today. And this comfortable, relaxing music I'm listening to today is called Healing Music Beach Soothing music calming music relaxing stress relief sleeping music and i will post that link in the description box below this is one hair is just irking my last nerve but anyways now um my video today is about twin flame 101 hey Oka's getting through the lesson of life it is like we're going through the lessons of life each and every day we get tested each and every day it just seems like you know even when we grow up to go through adulthood and we are graduated and went to college you're still going through the lesson of life we're going through school like that you can't get held back you can't do well you do repeat <laughs> you will repeat if you are still going through those lessons and it is a blessing to be able to go through it it's like god dog how many times am i gonna have to constantly keep going through this and you will keep going through this and keep going through this until you learn your lesson on what it is to know about what you are going through and it's just like you know people that I'm close to. You no, know, I'll sit up here and say, I'm, you know, it feels like I'm doing the same thing over and over again each and every day. I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And I feel like my life is, is, you know, it should be more broad, you know, going doing different things and stuff like that. And you feel like a robot, especially if you got OCD and stuff like that. Um, it can be like that with a certain thing, but then you get aggravated. If, you know, if you're doing the same thing, at least with me, I get aggravated if I do the same thing over and over and over again. It seems too repetitive. So that's why even like with my videos, you know, I try to go ahead and hit each and every subject that, you know, people possibly go through. You know, knowing I'm going through this the same, but I know other people are going through different things. So it's just like me going through the stuff that I went through. You know, I learned a lot of lessons out of it, even though it could have been something that was really hard, hard felt and, you know, tragic or whatever you want to call it. But there was a blessing out of each and everything that I went through. You know, even if it's something that I was delayed on, it, you know, it, it gives me that time to work on myself. You know, I might be aggravated and stuff like that, but when I really step back and give myself that time to breathe and look at things how they truly are, you know, and that's what a lot of times we need to give ourselves that, that moment because sometimes we get upset when things don't come out the way we want it to or, you know, just go in the direction we might want it to go at that time. But it might redirect us towards something else because there's something we might need to reflect on at that moment moment in time you know because it's sometimes i'll be up in my feelings i'm not gonna lie <laughs> when it comes to certain things and then i have to sit back and it might take me a day especially when we be in a tour sometimes it takes me a day or two or possibly three <laughs> to calm down but then when i finally get to that moment while i'm not in my feelings and i look back and i'll say okay there you know even though i might not like the ending results on this situation let me look at it in a different way you know, maybe this was not good enough for me or maybe, you know, dealing with this certain situation a certain way was not going to work. So I had to go by what the universe wanted me to do or they knocked me back to what the universe wanted me to do. So it's just like everything we go through is a constant test, you know, and it's just like 
like my incidents where I can have somebody that really jacked me up and really hurt me and it's just like I haven't talked to them for a while and all of a sudden they come back in my life and I mean all of a sudden that, that you know that feeling that ego wants to put on that pride you know that pride situation where you know oh they did this and this and that to me and I don't know why they're trying to get in touch with me and this and this and that but then I'm just like you know what either if I, I know I'm not gonna have nothing nice today say I just don't say nothing at all or you know I just don't engage into you know no conversation because I know it might not lead me anywhere so you know I, I know now I have to I had to learn on how to respond to people especially if there's people in my past that did some downright gutter butt stuff to me you know everybody has a past everybody made mistakes you know you have to look at the reason why they did it you know some of the reasons why you know even though sometimes it's not even relevant in your life and you can just walk past it or whatever but if you know it was a you know a situation with you know when it comes to people or a relationship that you know really meant something to you and you had to really step back and just analyze things all you know why did they do this or maybe you know they must have been going through something you know because we always have to think about when it comes to people you know it's never personal even though you feel like it's personal it's never personal because you never know what this person is going through for them to react like that and, you know I had to you know think about stuff like that even though I might get up in my feelings but now I'm just blessed that I'm able to look at things like that and look at people like even though I can love you from a distance I don't have to have anything to say to you but I can forgive you and just keep going on with my life because it's just like I can't allow this person to keep on having this power over me and me keep holding this anger towards them when I have so many blessings and good things that I could be putting my energy on and that's a lot of things that I did not do in life I used to hold on and be mad and be angry and never let things go and I had to learn that you know because it's just like all it is it's going to do is just make me sick have me stressed out while these people are going on about their lives and being able to sleep at night and I'm just like how are they able to sleep and they sleep just fine because they, they got you exactly where they wanted you to. They ruffled up your feathers and they know, okay, I did my job. So it's just like I had to look at everything like that. You know, even when it came to income, it came to jobs. I just had to look at things a total different way. I had to go about things a total different way. So it's just that lesson of life has always been a blessing to me, even though it might harbor over some something that was very dark and deceitful. It, it came out to turn, you know, came out to turn of being something blessing and, and enlightenment to my life, you know, bringing so much joy to my life, even though it caused a lot of heartbreak, you know, I had to look at all the beautiful outcome it, it came out to. I've actually, you know, grew a voice for myself, actually being able to help other people just like I'm helping myself at the same time, you know, making these videos very, very therapeutic. You know, I'm being able to be raw and vulnerable and just be free and, you know, just to let people know, you know, you don't have to sugarcoat things just to be able to say what you got to say. You don't have to be rude or ratchet or whatever you want to call it just to get your point across. So, you know, living through this life, life of blessings that, I, you know, that I've endured has been so positive to me even though there's negative things that had started the outcome the aftermath from it has been a blessing so to be able to keep doing these things and knowing it can take me to promising places is, is a blessing I know I keep saying that but it is a blessing it is because when you when I started off doing these things I didn't have that confidence in myself to feel like I can be able to do this or have the strength enough to have that voice to be open and say what I went through and what I experienced and what I'm currently overcoming and I'm healing from so it's just to be able to do that knowing I can touch somebody's life in a positive way to let them know whatever they're going through they can overcome it even though it might take some time you can get through it so you know keep pushing on keep pushing on you know learning that lesson of life you know there's nothing you need to study on but there's things that you need to know in life that you know that can head towards your way or you know head you towards a promising direction so I hope you were able to you know get something out of the content of my video today and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and know that you are blessed you are truly loved and you're highly favored and know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days 
give me a thumbs up, like it, even share on your social media favorites. Drop me a line. I'll love a chance to hit, get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, or even if it's about the positive content of the feedback of my video, or you're just open up telling me about your empathic gift and how it's impacted your life towards a positive direction. And, you know, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell. So I'm sending you as much love and light and positivity as I possibly can. And namaste. And I hope everybody has a blessed day. Peace. And be wild.